real shock to me, to be perfect. It's never going to happen to me, but it did happen to me. I had a friend staying with me for the weekend, but it was on the 9th of February when we'd had very, very bad snow and ice, and the road was like a skating rink, and we never get our road sorted, and there was no way that I could think about getting the car out. Phone for a taxi, he did. There was an hour and a half wait. We left here, went up and waited outside of the Bradstow Mill. While we were standing there, I can't explain the feeling that came over me and I just felt I was going to go down uh, and I just said to him, can I hold on to you please? I said, I feel like I'm going to pass out. With that, there was a lady on the other side of the road walking along and she called across and she said, are you okay? I went, yes, I'm fine, thank you. By this time, my speech had gone and I felt my, my face was funny and she came across, she said, no, you're not. And she turned to my friend and said, phone for an ambulance. I went, I don't want an ambulance. She said, you do, you're having one. Um, when we arrived, there was a fire responder there um, and she was waiting outside with him. Um, we got her into the ambulance, did all observations, um, found that her blood pressure wasn't too high, which we were quite surprised with. But um, between me and my colleague, we decided to um, contact the stroke consultant via FaceTime on our iPads at Kent Canterbury Hospital. Um, we discussed with the consultant our concerns and the consultant was able to see the patient and and um, he decided that actually he would like to see the patient at Kent and Canterbury to see if she's having a stroke. So this is a project that started a couple of years ago in partnership with East Kent Hospitals um, and Dr David Hargroves who's a, a stroke consultant and one of the national leads for stroke and he suggested that we uh, work to try and get telemedicine into the back of an ambulance so that when we go to a patient who's we think maybe having a stroke, we can have a direct conversation with a hospital, with a doctor in a hospital, um, to uh, see whether that patient really may be having a stroke or whether they perhaps might be having what we call a stroke mimic, um, which means that they may be better off going to a local hospital or getting a referral to their GP. It means that we can be making sure that patients are in the right place. Um, quickly, but also making sure that when they get here, we're ready for them. We can be literally standing by the door um, with everything ready to go so that when they come in, we can assess them and, and treat them quickly. And that's essential when it comes to stroke because every minute that somebody has a stroke, they're losing um, millions of neurons. Um, so being able to get to them quickly, make sure they have the appropriate treatment quickly, saves lives and prevents disability. As I got to Canterbury Hospital, they were waiting for me, camera straight in my arm. And after that, it was, you know, I had to lay for 24 hours because I wasn't allowed to move. Had CT scan, they came and took blood from me and everything. So not, not everybody that we go out to that's having a stroke is fast test positive. They can have other, other symptoms like they may not be able to walk properly or maybe just dizzy um, or confused and not be able to get like proper sentences out. And to be able to liaise with a stroke consultant face to face, it's, it's good to learn from the experience. It would be lovely if we could get more feedback so we could find out um, and carry on learning because some of the symptoms that we do take in are very obscure and we don't come across it very often. So um, what we're hoping is, is that um, we can roll this out to any other hospital in the whole of the Seacam area that's interested in it and we have, there has been quite a lot of interest in it um, from Sussex and from Surrey and I've been asked to do a presentation for both of those areas on, on our findings so far which have been very very positive. So what we found is that about 50% of our patients who, um, who are fast positive actually don't need to go to the stroke hospital. So 
some of those will go to their local ED, some of them will be referred to their GP and some of those will be referred to the TIA clinic. And we found no adverse incidents at all so far. Um, we are keeping records of everything and, um, and, doing, and the UCL is doing a review of the entire project. So, um, so it will be looked at in detail to make sure that it's a safe way of proceeding. So once, once we've got those results, um, what we uh, really the sky's the limit. I mean, we can use this for lots of other um, time critical incidents such as maternity, such as paediatrics, anywhere really where we want to get the, the patient to the hospital that is the best for them and for their outcome. And more and more now what's happening is that, that hospitals are getting more specialised and we can't actually, it's, it's there are less incidents where we can just take the patient to the nearest ED. So what that means is that we have to make smart decisions about where to take those patients and it's not always possible for our staff to, to do that with our, with our knowledge and skills and so it's fantastic to be able to bring the doctor into the back of the ambulance virtually um, to make those sort of triage decisions so that we can take the patient to the right place, get them the best outcome possible it saves us um, having to do into, into hospital transfers later because we've taken them to maybe a less suitable place first of all. It also saves some patient journeys altogether if they can be referred to their GP. Um, and it's just a, a really efficient way of triaging patients. Um, yeah, I think it's, it, it, it's so good to be able to know that you're um, giving advice very, very quickly very soon after somebody's presented when we know we've got this massive um, time constraint and imperative to treat and assess people quickly um, and seeing somebody would be whisked into exactly the right place get exactly the right treatment almost straight away and in good cases like Margaret's benefit from it hugely and be able to leave hospital very quickly is, is just fantastic it's, it's really good. If it wasn't for the fact of the speed of the ambulance crew and the modern technology, I would not be able, in this condition today, I have made a full recovery with many thanks to the NHS and the speed and the modern technology.